For some conditions of the thyroid, there are really two approaches. You can surgically remove the entire thyroid gland, or you can treat it with radioactive iodine to basically ablate the thyroid tissue. The thyroid is unique in the body in that it, it takes up iodine or iodine-related compounds specifically. So radioactive iodine ablation or radioactive iodine treatment takes advantage of a normal process where the thyroid cells whether they're thyroid cancer or normal thyroid cells, or even grave cells, usually take iodine to make thyroid hormone, but this time we give the patient radioactive iodine to destroy the thyroid gland. In a patient with Graves' disease, um, radioactive iodine treatment is more of a definitive therapy for that patient, and at a lower dose can be used in this manner. Um, to um, destroy the thyroid cells from producing um, the excess thyroid hormone. We're trying to get rid of the entire thyroid gland. So if you use radioactive iodine, you're trying to give a big enough dose that you cause scarring down of the thyroid gland so that you get rid of the Graves' disease. For radioactive iodine ablation, uh, oftentimes we restrict it to children that are over age five and many times actually over age 10. Um, if we're going to consider them for that type of therapy compared to either staying on medical therapy or surgical uh, intervention.